a radioactive leak at a nuclear power plant right here in Minnesota. XL Energy says it happened at its plant in Monticello last November. Now, contaminated water is slowly creeping toward the Mississippi River. WCCO's Alan Henry spoke with agencies about how they plan to stop it and why it took months for the public to find out. Jeff Rowan lives about a half a mile from XL Energy's nuclear power plant in Monticello. He had no idea that four months ago, 400,000 gallons of radioactive water leaked in the facility. Yeah, that, that concerns me. That they wouldn't, somebody would have, wouldn't have told, especially the city should have let us know. Somebody should have let us know. Both XL and the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency released statements about the leak Thursday afternoon, making it public knowledge for the first time. They say on November 22nd, they discovered a pipe leaking the radioactive water and began working to fix it. Almost four months now, why are people just now hearing about this? If at any point there had been a concern for the public safety, we would, of course, immediately. Uh, provided much more information, uh, but we also wanted to make sure we fully understood what was going on uh, before we started raising any concerns with, with the public around us. Both Excel and the Minnesota Department of Health say at this point, there's no risk to the public. The plant is located about three quarters of a mile away from the Mississippi River, and officials tell me none of that leaked water has reached the river, at least not yet. The uh, groundwater beneath the facility, it's been uh, determined that it moves in the direction of the Mississippi River uh, slowly, but, but that's the direction that it flows or moves underground. As crews work to keep the leaked water on site at the plant and retrieve it from underground, they say the rain and snow we're getting now is actually helping. Actually, as the snow melts and contributes to water in the river, that actually creates a natural pressure uh, that will push uh, the water that leaked from our plant back toward the plant. So nature is actually working with us here, which is good. Alan Henry, WCCO, 4 News. The state emphasizes the leak has not contaminated any drinking water wells. XL says it plans on powering down the plant next month to remove and repair the broken pipe.